Shopify versus GoDaddy. Hi guys, welcome back to the Imminent HD YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a comparison between Shopify and GoDaddy e-commerce. So firstly, we are going to take a look at Shopify. So when we come out to Shopify.com, we see this web page in front of us. Now scrolling down, you can see some of their main features and everything. And then you have their basic plans. So Shopify does offer a 14 day free trial. But after 14 days, you will have to buy one of the following plans. So the basic Shopify plan is going to get you up and started for a basic e-commerce store and everything that you could possibly need like the analytics, the marketing, the ads and also the inventory tracking. Then you have their second plan. So their second plan is more suitable if you have a couple of sales coming in. If you have a big store, well then their second plan is really the most beneficial. Then you have their advanced Shopify feature. So their advanced Shopify option is basically very very nice if you want to like scale your business really really fast and if you want to get all the top of the line features. So we are going to take a look look at their free trial firstly so i want you to click on the top right where it says start free trial and then that is going to take you over here so from over here sign up quickly and i'm going to catch you guys in just a second once i signed up myself so once you sign up you will be asked to basically name your store so i'm going to click on create another store now i'm just doing this for the sake of this video you will be seeing another screen over here because you will be signing up for the first time so i'm going to name my store something like jjj triple zero exclusive so once i type in this well i'm gonna click on a create my store and then they are gonna ask me for more information so basically my store is ready to go i mean like this is all that you need to do in shopify to actually get your store up and running i'm not even kidding they are super fast so now you have their admin dashboard in front of you so from over here you will have to answer a couple of questions i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna be back in just a minute so once you have actually answered all of those questions, well, then you will be able to see this particular dashboard. So from over here, you can see all the different features that they offer. On the left side, you have the categories. You have the home button, the orders button, the products button, the customers, the analytics, the marketing and the discounts and also the applications. And then in the center, you have the options to basically customize your store. So firstly, you can add a product if you want to. So I'm going to click on add a product and then that is going to take me over to another page. So from over here, I can simply put in a title. I can put in a description, the media, the pricing, the inventory, and also the shipping and the quantity for that as well. And then also, if I want to SEO optimize my listing, I can also do that so that my product shows up into Google, like in the top rank. So like all in all, very nice features. And then if I were to check this particular box, I will be able to assign more options to my product, like the size, the option values and like all in all whatever i want to offer along with my product i can do that with the options button then at the left side you can basically keep track of your inventory so if you were to put in your inventory uh, number over here in this particular box like for example this product that you are selling do you have 100 items or 200 items if you were to simply put in the exact number this inventory section is going to be keeping track of all of your inventory so basically whenever a product sells they will subtract that amount from your total inventory and thus giving you an accurate representation of all the products that you have in your inventory and then on the left side you can also see your transfers your collections your gift card options as well now this is something that most e-commerce stores lack because like i don't know why but they don't really focus on this and i personally really really like this particular feature because i have found tremendous use for this so like what happens is that you can simply send like, you know, gift cards to your customers emails and then basically get them to come back to your store. Like, guys, isn't that awesome? I mean, like, it's just a small touch, but this is really, really nice. And guys, if you like Shopify so far, you can definitely get yourself a free trial by simply checking out the link in the description below. And also check out some awesome applications that are available for Shopify using the link in the description. Now coming back to the video, on the left side, you can see some more features. So for the analytics, you can keep track of everything like the total sales, the returning customer ratio, the average order value, the online store conversion. And then for the customers, you can also keep track of that. The marketing, you can literally market using their marketing campaign option while list being inside Shopify and like not leaving Shopify for a second. So like this basically turns out to be an all-in-one solution for everything that your store could possibly need. And then on the left side, you can even automate certain tasks if you want to. 
but that requires some technical knowledge so it is always best to have somebody professional do this so like essentially these are the basic features and also like the main features of of shopify and if you were interested in shopify well then you will know everything that you need to know about shopify by this point in this video so now we're gonna move on to godaddy e-commerce and then we're gonna compare how godaddy compares with shopify GoDaddy. So I want you to come on to GoDaddy.com and I want you to simply hover your mouse over the websites and stores button and then after that simply click on website builder. Now once you do that you will see this very page that I am seeing right now and this is their website builder option. So now from over here click on start for free and then after that wait for a couple of seconds and then that is going to basically take you over to this page. So from over here simply click on continue with Facebook, Google or email depending upon how you want to sign up. And I'm going to catch you guys in just a second once I sign in myself. So once you sign in to GoDaddy, well then after that, they're going to ask you a couple of questions. Like for example, what category do you want to set up a website for? So I'm going to choose IT services and click on next. And then from over here, uh, you can just simply put in a name that you would like your website to be called. So I'm going to type in tech services. And after that, you basically have the website builder in front of you. So now you can essentially just simply set up your website and you can add whatever you want to onto your particular website and you can remove whatever you want to by simply double clicking and that is pretty much it. And then from the right side, you can basically like add, delete, you know, like just basically do whatever you want to do with your website using the buttons on the right side. And then after that, you can even keep track of everything via the Google AdSense tracking the Facebook pixel tracking, the Google analytics, and then also the site history and everything else. So like all in all, this is going to cover everything. And you guys want you to go elsewhere to like find all of these services. Now, once you are done with that, well, after that, you can basically click on social marketing and you can even market your store as well. And then if you still have problems basically developing your own website, well, then you can just simply refer to GoDaddy support. The overall process is pretty similar to Shopify's process, so you won't have any problems whatsoever. But then again, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments down below. And again, if you want to grab yourself a free Shopify trial, make sure to check out the link in the description below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.